Hey y'all, Zelda here. It has been a long time, no videos. I, as usual, kind of started a project and then got, um, you know, cognitively I had an idea of what the project of like moving through the tarot archetypes was going to be when I started sharing it with you all. And then I really didn't know what the archetypes and what my good spirits had in store for me. And so, I have been working with individual archetypes on my own, but they haven't been things that have been called to be shared. And that's been really interesting because I'm like, oh, okay, well, what is this space then? Like, am I going to keep making videos? Am I going to keep sharing in this way? What does my creative skill share with the world look like right now? And as I've been working with the emperor, one of the things that has been really clear is identifying and clarifying what it is that I have to offer, who I am, what my unique um, intersections are and what I can offer to my communities that I care deeply for. Um, and so part of that involves more clearly defining what it, it, who it is I am and what it is I have to offer. And those kind of categories right now are um, being in relationship with my good spirits and what they have to share with and through me. And that sometimes involves um, chewing on concepts or actually pulling cards and sharing their direct wisdom with you. Um, and then the second kind of category, a very large one actually, is psychology and um, understanding how the body and the mind, which are really not so separate, are participating and involved with um, life and spirit and our healing process. And that is my, you know, clinical training. I am a somatic counselor, a somatic psychotherapist, um, and a dance movement therapist by training. Um, and I certainly do other things. I was trained as an artist and as an energy worker before I did that, but that is like a big part of my career. It's a big part of my continuing education is supporting people in their bodies, in their spirits, in healing from trauma um and particularly people who are neurodivergent like autistic adhd um although certainly not only that's not the only group that's neurodivergent um but i particularly work with those folks um and a lot of people who have complex uh trauma um, I also work with folks healing from eating disorders, folks in queer identities, which is not a mental health issue, but like living in our world, of course, um, it's helpful to have a therapist with a shared identity. Um, I identify as neuroqueer, meaning that my identity as being neurodivergent, specifically as someone with autism and ADHD, um, as well as someone who's experienced complex trauma, that like I am that affects my sexuality and identity and my relationship to gender and queerness. So I love the term neuroqueer because it really like encompasses that, but that's like an area of, um, interest and study for me that will come in and factor into my work and does factor into how I relate to spirit and how I relate to, um, the identities and, um, connections that I have with my spirit community as well, my spiritual court. Um, another piece that is also a big part of that, as I mentioned, you know, I am trained also as an artist, so like creativity, creative process, energy work kind of fits into that like spirituality and relationship with spirits, but these are kind of the domains. And with the spirituality, I also am like deeply interested in studying. So I love learning. I am someone who, not that this is the only way you can love learning, but I happen to be hyperlexic, meaning I read really fast. Um, and I love to, you know, feast on information. I love to learn things. I love, I care a lot about critical thinking. Um, and I really, really care. And this is really important to me. I really care about the intersection of critical thinking and understanding the world in a way that is rooted and anchored and um, discerning 
as well as exploring spirituality. And I find that often, so often, not never, but like so often they're like exclusive. It's like the like science versus spirituality debate or something that they're like somehow like not together and like supporting each other, which just does not make sense to me. Um, you know, this is something that I feel really passionate about that, um, we end up with really challenging, um, power dynamics and spiritual communities when people are not interested and excited and encouraged to own their own expertise and experience and see the limitations of their human teachers and sometimes even of their spirit guides and teachers too. Um, yeah, and so I'm really passionate about coupling those things. And so for me, this feels like a bit of an adventure forward into sharing some of the tidbits that maybe feel a little disparate um, or haven't like come in because they're more like, oh, this is an idea that I have about psychology that I was like reading about or like gender identity or how spirituality connects to, you know, this thing. And some of them are not going to be things that are factual. Some of them are going to be curiosities. And I don't want to be anyone's like spiritual guru. I don't want to be anyone's spiritual, um, you know, guide actually. Like I am happy to like in almost like a hermit type of archetype, like I'm out there with my lantern kind of exploring, but that doesn't mean you should like run after me on my path. Um, I actually encourage everyone and I do this when I work with folks, like I encourage everyone to construct with intention and care and first person research, like a felt sense of first person experience. What their worldview is, what makes sense for how they construct and understand the world. And that that is something that your own spirits chose to work with you for a reason. And that's not so that you could be like everyone else or so that you could find the like right way to do things. It's so that you could utilize your own. And this is what I believe, right? Even this, you could say like, you don't agree with, but I think that everyone has their own unique gifts and service to provide the world. Um, and that's beautiful. And we need everyone to be doing their own unique work, not learning how to do someone else's work because it looks really nice or fancy or sounds like the right thing, or they tell you it's the right thing, right? So I know that this was not me sharing a ton, but these are some of the identities, some of the things that I am thinking about and excited about to share with you. And the emperor has been really clear in guiding me to understand and define what it is that I'm interested in creating and taking, um, ownership over, uh, not like that I own it even, but like or even being accountable to, like being in relationship with. And that that definition is like, this is not going to be a page where um, I'm just doing tarot readings. Like for a while, that's kind of been like, it's been mostly just channeling or doing tarot readings. And there might be a little bit more like pushback experience. There might be a little bit of um, uncertainty or a little bit of talking about neuroscience um, on my page. And so I just want to like offer that that's going to be opened up and I don't know what that's going to look like. And if that sounds good to you, I am looking forward to uh, going along for the ride with you. So I am Zelda. I am a spiritist. I am a somatic psychotherapist and somatic counselor. I am a healing artist. I am a neuroqueer femme. I am um, a creative um, being of expansiveness that does not like to be reduced or contained. So um, yes, this is who I am. And, you know, the emperor can also be that too. So I'm curious, like, what identity is, what space are you claiming? Um, if you want to drop, like, an I am statement for yourself of, like, who you are and what you're doing and, like, what some of your labels are that feel like, yeah, that's identifying my domain and what I care about. Um, yeah. 
put, go ahead and put that out there. I'd love to witness you as part of this community. Um, I'm really excited to be in conversation with people and not just kind of have this be like a unidirectional experience. Um, and I still look forward to sharing musings on tarot and messages from my guides with you as well, because I know that um, I'm so grateful that my good spirits also have so much wisdom and love and healing energy to share with the world. Um, and I'm grateful to be able to experience that and, and offer that forward. So thank you all for being patient, for still being here after a couple months of quiet. Um, I very much look forward to sharing more, more with you soon.